Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blair Book. You know what time it is. Told you guys about 13 signs. Yes, the 13 zodiac signs. It's a madness. All right, listen, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for a notification of the uploads. And for those of you who are returnees, and you really know the model, you got the minerals, you got the minerals, oh yes. And listen, Mineral Gang just means, listen, if you want to be a part of the Mineral Gang, you have to understand, Mineral just means basically that you have the courage to stand up in the face of a storm. You understand? The willingness and the courage and the power and the bravery to stand up in the, in the face of a storm. Do you have it? If you have it, join the team. If you have it, join the team. Do you understand? If you don't have it, don't join the team. You get me? All right, let's talk about it. Listen, um, we're talking to you guys about uh, Zodiac signs. So, um, recently NASA came out and said there's actually 13 uh, Zodiac signs that the Babylonians actually missed out one of the Zodiac signs. Okay? So they're no longer the 12, which represent 12 animals. Um, they're now 13, okay? Now this is very, very important because this is spiritual. Okay, now if you if you if you if you are a zodiac person, a sign person, or somebody follows a constellation of the stars as a way to lead your life, let me break some stuff down for you. All of a sudden, the thing that you follow, the signs that you said you follow, has been changed. You are a Cancer today, tomorrow you're a Gemini. You are a Leo today, suddenly you're a Taurus. I don't even know if that's true. One day you are Sagittarius, and now you are an Aries. I don't know if that's the right order, but what you do, what I'm trying to say is this. You see how it shifts and moves. Suddenly, the 12 has become 13. And it reminded me of a scripture that says, um, the man of lawlessness will come and change the time and the seasons. Or should you say that there's a time, with the, yeah, the man of lawlessness will come and change the time. We're talking about um, 2 Thessalonians 2, right? And also talking about Daniel 7, verse 25, right? Where it says that, that the one that's coming was, will try to um, speak against uh, the Most High and also begin to uh, try to change the, the times and the laws, okay? Um, so the Bible tells us this is coming, all right? And this is just one of the ways that I like to see that how God is how God is so true and how things are shifting and moving. Um, so the zodiac signs are actually made up, I wanna give you a little background. The zodiac signs are really a proportion that um, they are 12, right? And each one's meant to be at a 30 degree angle, okay? Um, which is really interesting because the, num the numbers 30 and 12 are very quintessential to someone called Jesus Christ. Right At the age of 30, Christ began his ministry. He also cho chose 12 disciples. Now, I don't know if that's on purpose. They chose Zodiac signs for 12. I don't know if the constellation of the stars are set up as 12 on purpose. But all I do know is, okay, what I do know is that uh, the Lord is speaking. Okay. All right. So, um, and so obviously 12 also represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, cool. So, um... So each sector um, is named for a constellation it passes through, right? The sun, like almost like a, a section of the, you know, the pie or the line that goes through from the earth to the sun, right? It, 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 it makes up these kind of constellations and sectors in the constellation, right? Um, and so what NASA have said is that actually um, the, there is a, um, a pathway that stays on for 45 days rather than seven. So it's talking about here... Um, the 13th sign here um, is, what does it say here? Uh, that moves through the 13 constellations, Virgo for 45 days and Scorpius for seven days, right? Um, and so they said that there's another sign which actually has been something that's been tried to be tried to be placed into uh, the star signs for a very long time. In fact, the, I think the Zodiac community have been fighting off this 13th sign because for them it's not, um, it doesn't fit the magical mathematical equation to have 13, okay? And so this uh, particular sign is called the Opitus, okay? Um, and um, the Opitus also in Greek means the serpent holder um, or to grab a hold of the serpent. Um, and so some people call it the Serpentarius, okay? And this is very, very key because when we see in Genesis um, 3 where the Bible says that the woman, um, and I want to read it just quickly as well. So yeah, Ms. 3 verse 15 says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his head. Heal. I want you to understand as well, the Lord said this to the serpent. Yeah, when we read verse 14, he said he said this to the serpent. So the fact that this octopus is called uh, the man who holds the serpent is very, very interesting because actually 
it relates to another part of scripture because the ocho, the opetus or apetus or whatever you want to call it um, is is highly linked into Greek mythology. So it's identified with um, Asclepius, um, the son of Apollo and Coronus, who became skilled in medicine, um, healing the sick and also restoring the dead to life, which is really, really interesting because this actually corresponds with scripture. The Bible says um, in a time where Moses, um, when the people of Israel were following Moses and they had sinned by murmuring against God um, or against Moses and against God, um, then the Lord sent a plague amongst them, or I should say judgment, we should say, right? Because some people say uh, plague is evil. Let me call it what it is. It's judgment, okay? Yeah, your mouth was too fast talking about my big man upstairs and the plague came, okay? Now this plague came and the plague actually then caused people to feel sick and die um, and so many people so many people actually died right um, and so what we see is that Moses is instructed to formulate a bronze pole with a snake around the pole you may have seen this before yes you have you've seen it on your ambulance signs in America especially you would have seen this on the WHO um, or the WHO organizations um, particular symbol as well so it is no coincidence that the 13th sign, which number the number 13, I'm gonna break it down for you, the number 13 actually means rebellion and lawlessness, okay? Uh, that governments are created by men and inspired by Satan, and that we see in 13 Ishmael was 13 years when he was circumcised because Abraham had disobeyed what God had said and actually chose to do it himself. It means disobedience, grievous. Um, sorrows and rebellion okay so you have to understand that number 12 was a number of power and authority um perfect governmental foundation completeness establishing um and so we see 12 in the bible all the way through with tribes with apostles with 24 elders 12 gates of new jerusalem 12 emblems on the ash um on the ash on the on the particular clothing that the priest would wear um, and I, I believe as well, Jesus was 12 as well when he said his first words in Luke 2 verse 42. So you have to look at number, number 12, number 13. These numbers have a great significance. If there were 12 constellations, and I'm not saying again that we believe in zodiac signs as Christians, what I am telling you is that they've changed it specifically for this time and for this season. We've seen a shift now and a change so that the octopus now um, will be um, between the time of November 29th and December 17th and the Greek word is serpent bearer okay serpent bearer the one that will hold the snake okay serpent bearer okay and this is very interesting because like I said number number 13 is a number of rebellion okay um, and so rebellion as we've seen we've seen with a serpent we saw in Genesis that was a rebellion right um, and so when I was saying to you about Christ the Bible says in, the, in when Christ was talking to the disciples and you're talking in almost para, in, almost in parables, but he was talking plain. It's just that they didn't, they didn't have the, the, the Holy Spirit to understand what he was saying because all things had to be made plain to them. He says that the Son of Man must be lifted up like, the, that, like in the olden time, like the snake on the pole. He must be lifted up. You know, and so just as he's lifted up onto this cross, okay, and, and, and just like the serpent on the pole was made for, meaning that this will be a place of healing when people looked at it. Because in the Old Testament, when people looked at the snake on the pole, they would be healed. So it's no wonder that Ochupus, I want to deep this, Ochupus, which is Greek mythology, would have come after, okay. Greek mythology says that this, this thing is about um, healing the sick and also causing the dead to raise, right? The same thing is what Christ, when he went onto the cross, that he said, the, these signs shall follow them, they shall heal the sick, um, lay, lay their hands on the sick, they shall um, tread on scorpions, um, they shall drink poison and never be harmed. And then we see in the Bible, in the New Testament, we see people being healed, we see um, people being resurrected, you know what I'm saying? So these very things that we we're talking about, in terms of Ochipus, right? And if you listen to Ochipus, what it, what it stands for, in terms of the fact that, what is the the what a uh, person who is who's born between that month? What their thing is is very very interesting. Um, with octopus, there's is octopuses are going to be information seekers and will also be known for their attractive physical appearance. What's really interesting is this: octopuses will be in, they will in, they will interpret dreams. Uh, they will, and they will in, they will interpret dreams, visions, and be seekers of wisdom. And I find this very interesting because. The interpreting of dreams and visions together, those two words together are so key. The Bible says in the latter days, 
Joel 220, 228, I should say Latter Days, um, the, that Joel 228 talks about the fact that the Lord will pour out his spirit and the young men, and the old men shall dream dreams and young men shall have visions. Young women and young women shall have visions and prophesy. Okay, so the fact that the octopuses are going to be people that are going to interpret dreams and have visions, it is so ironic because the Bible tells us the fact that Joel 2.28, that they will dream dreams and have visions. Okay, I don't believe they use that word by mistake, I think they use it solely on purpose. Okay, so let us know again, we're entering into a new age. We're entering into a new age. And what's the new age? Medicine. And what medicine we're talking about here? We've just recently gone through COVID, or we're still going through COVID. And we're hearing sections of Bill Gates and them people there saying that there should be a vaccine that's going to come. Why? To heal this whole world. And I'm wondering how this is going to be. There's something that's going to happen that's going to play in that we're not 100% sure, but it's a part and parcel of what is bigger picture. There's something else coming. Um, and so, you know, the Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 2 that, you know, Satan is the prince of the air. Is it ironic that NASA are governing the air and telling us that, um, that you know, that space and saying that, look, look here, you know, um, they are changing the constellations from 12 to 13. And like I said, Octopus has been around for a little while. It's not, it's not, it's not old. It's, it's, it's been around for a little while. In fact, let me even uh, read something for you. Octopus the serpent bearer. Octopus listed by Ptolemy is not counted as a zodiac constellation through part though part of it does extend into Zodiac between Scorpio and Sagittarius. Mythologically, Octopus, sometimes called Serpentarius, is identified with um, Escapilius, son of Apollo and Coronas, who became so skilled in medicine, he not only healed the sick, but he restored the dead to life. This alarmed Pluto, ruler of the underworld, who feared that his kingdom would become depopulated. I want to just stop there. You see, the Bible tells us that, obviously, like, you know what, that um, the gates of hell will not, will not prevail against the church. The more we preach about this Jesus, the more that the underworld will become depopulated, okay? At the moment, people are heading to hell at a fast rate. They don't know Jesus, but we're preaching this Jesus. Hey, look, guys, there is an alternative here. My Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's unmoving. NASA can't come and tell us that Jesus is changing. No, 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 no. Because y'all don't even believe Jesus is even real. So they won't even talk about it. Jesus is the way, the truth, the light. And no man can come to the Father except they come through Jesus. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's reliable, dependable, okay? And he is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And I want you to understand this because some of you may not understand this. And Christ has died for you to have a relationship with you. Okay, now he died because there's an impending danger coming and had he not been the snake around the pole being lifted up onto the cross, okay, and for men to look up and see him on the cross and say, I surrender my life and everything to you, you would never catch a healing. You see, that's what they're trying to tell you that you don't realize. The enemy has always tried to, 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 to hide the truth in plain sight for you because you see, the devil just wants to say, are you sure that's the truth? He can't, he goes, he's not trying to break it. He's just trying to add a little sauce to the truth. In the Garden of Eden, when it came to Eve, he said, are you sure that's what God said? Uh, you know, I, you know that you'll become like gods if you eat this fruit. So Satan didn't tell outright lies. No, rather the brother just decided to just do a, a mini, you know, just a little adjustment, right? But if an, a right angle is 90 degrees and you take it slightly to the right or slightly to the left, it's acute or obtuse. It's no longer a right angle. So the, the fine margin is that there can't be no degrees of change here. Um, and so they're saying that, here, look, Pluto was alarmed because the ruler of the underworld who feared that his kingdom would be depopulated. Satan fears that people will not accept his ways and be selfish and be egotistical and be about themselves. You need someone to serve. You need someone to worship, okay? But the reason why you, deserve, the reason why you need to worship Jesus is not because uh, you need someone just to serve, but because he is the almighty God. Because he is the only one who created the heaven and the earth. The only one that created you. The Bible says he came onto his own and he knew him not. The Bible says that you can come, you can now and become sons of God. I don't know what other God that you serve that says that you can become part of the inheritance. You can become into a new position. You can come into wealth and riches. And I'm talking about spiritual wealth and riches, not finances, money in your pocket. Okay? That's the God that we serve. You know? That's the God that you serve. Uh... You know, so it's important that we understand that God is speaking. And uh, and so um, it says, obviously here, rather reluctantly, uh, Jupiter killed um, Esculapius with a thunderbolt, but afterwards relented suffi sufficiently to place him in the sky. Ochopius Ochi is a large constellation lying between Vega and Antares. Uh, Russell Hogg lies between, I don't know what that even means. 
uh, despite it's, uh, and so the the whole point is to un make us understand that listen um, that the thirteenth sign is a sign of rebellion that is coming spritually. Okay, the serpent bearer. Now, I want you to understand as well. The serpent bearer, Lucifer. Let's say Lucifer is a serpent, right? He was also called the light bearer. It's interesting. We're going to be coming to an age of just information, I believe. We're going to come to an age of just knowledge. Knowledge is going to be abounding. And people are going to be so enlightened. And people are going to be so enlightened in many different things. But will you be enlightened with the gospel? Will you be enlightened with the truth? Will you be enlightened with the things that are of God, the Jesus that we serve? Or will you be enlightened with knowledge that puffers you up, that makes you reject Christ and the true knowledge and the true saving faith? Um, so that light bearer, that, that, that Satan, that serpent bearer, let me tell you something, God is speaking. Um, it says that from time to time, the idea that there should be a fertile sign of the zodiac raises its head. The argument being that because of the earth's uh, wobble, its position has changed from, from that of 3,000 years ago. When the signs were first allocated, the sun now appears to pass through the pass through 13 signs of the 12. But astrology isn't astronomy. So here's, a, here's an argument by astrologists saying that it's not astronomy. It's astrologists, right? Um, and they're, they're saying that there's not 13, there's 12. They're fighting their case. Um, but astrology isn't astronomy. Astrology focuses on the pattern of the planets and the moon as they pass through 12 zones defined by the relationship between the earth and the sun. These zones have the same name as constellations, but they are not the same as the actual constellations. Western astrology uses the tropical zodiac that follows the season based on the position of the sun's rays and the tropics. Otropolis is a constellation, but the sun does not pass through the constellation because it sits just outside of the ecliptic, the path of the sun through the sky. There are more than 20 constellations that touch or border the ecliptic, but in Western astrology, only 12 are used. Now, if there are more than 20 and yet only 12 are used, I would like to um, submit. The reason why 12 is submitted is because we have 12 hours on the clock. You know, it's the, that time is established on 12. And that, that the fact is, because when God ordains something to be established, okay, you see his presence principles in it all the time so in the book of esther god is not mentioned once but we see the principles of god mentioned uh, of principles of god enlisted in it because actually what we see okay is numbers and these numbers uh, mean something they tell his own story they have his own arc they tell us about god and so what we see with constellations zodiac signs if you follow a zodiac constellation sign it's time today to tell you listen the constellations can change at any moment you could be a taurus and you could be a leo one minute or you could be Aquarius and you could be Aries one minute. But let me tell you something about Jesus Christ. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I'm not promising Jesus is going to change your situation. I don't want to promise that. No, because that's not what I promised. What is promised is that God, Jesus is going to change your mindset. He's going to change your heart. He's going to give you his cloak of righteousness so that you can have the right relationship with God.